Pete Flores is the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol Director of Field Operations. Sir, thank you for taking the time. Good afternoon. Thank you. So what do we do uh, when they start arriving? I know the very, very first front group has arrived. Uh, uh, I'm told it's not even totaling 100, but, but others are coming. Uh, can you explain the process, what we do on our end as they arrive? So Customs and Border Protection is responsible for securing uh, our borders, making sure they are safe for uh, use, uh, especially at our ports of entry. So under Operation Secure Line, we have partnered with DOD to ensure uh, we are addressing any potential vulnerabilities at our borders, at our borders, or and, and to ensure maximum control of our ports of entry. So as we expect uh, the migrants to arrive, particularly in Tijuana, in masses, we have an organized and formalized process on how we intake individuals at our ports of entry legitimately. Part of that process includes the acceptance of asylum seekers as they come through the port of entry. Mm. Uh, so what the expectation is is that we will have that process is in place and the caravan will use that process in order to request asylum if that's what they choose to do. So, Director, maybe help me out. I was looking at a breakdown of some of those in the caravan, not only the, the, the group that just arrived uh, near Tijuana, but uh, the, 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 the numbers behind it. Many are Hondurans. They're escaping what they claim to be gang violence that threatened their lives and their families' lives. Uh, in the case of Nicaraguans, uh, there's been a political crackdown in that country, so they're escaping again, uh, something they say is, is, is for their lives. Uh, Guatemalans, it just seems to be more focused on the abject poverty in that country that's deteriorated rapidly over just the last year. So do any of those cases meet the technical definition of asylum? And then how do, how do you prove that? I think an imminent threat to your life or if your family's been targeted is one thing. Generically escaping a country because it's poor is another, right? So what do you do? So I would, uh, I would echo the comments made by our secretary and our commissioner that the, the caravan and the members of the caravan have been provided, uh, they have, Mexico has provided for an asylum process for them in Mexico. They've also provided uh, opportunities for employment to them. So if individuals in this caravan are migrant, uh, immigrant, economic migrants, they have been given the opportunity uh, to have a safe place, to have a opportunity for employment. For those that have chosen not to take that opportunity and continue to the border and who will show up at our borders here in the San Diego, Tijuana area, uh, we will take them in, we will take their claims, and then we will put them through the process with the uh, USCIS in order to validate those claims and so, adjudicate them. So if there them. are 2,500 or so, I believe, we're told, and correct me if I'm wrong, Director, by Mexico that you could have haven here, jobs here, citizenship here, and very few take Mexico up on that, preferring the United States, that is going to be... That's going to be a big burden to, to address when they get up to the border, isn't it? It absolutely is. Our ports of entry today are at capacity. So we have an uptick in travel. We have an uptick in, in commercial merchandise coming across our border. We have an uptick of enforcement in what we're seeing in opioids, methamphetamines, and dealing, dealing with those type of normal enforcement concerns that we, we have to adjudicate every single day. To add on the asylum process and this administrative process on top, at our ports of entry will significantly impact what our ability is to process those. In San Diego, we have a queue-in process today, a queue management process on how we handle asylum seekers today. Because of the impact we're already seeing at our ports of entry and the capacity uh, concerns we have with being able to process and hold individuals until we can put them into the asylum process. All right. Uh, Pete Flores, thank you very, very much.